Hey guys, if molybdenum powder is set of fire and air, it will burn gradually. However, if we blow some pure oxygen on it, the burning will intensify distinctly, and you can see a white smoke cloud that represents molybdenum trioxide. It is quite another matter if we set molybdenum powder on fire in the chlorine atmosphere. Don't worry guys, this video footage was made long ago, back when I didn't have your support on Patreon and your donations. But now, thanks to you, I have two professional video lights, and we all can enjoy beautiful footages with no flickers whatsoever. If you want to support me, you can find all the links in the description. So, here is a reaction with molybdenum powder and liquid chlorine once again. reaction you can see brown bromine-like vapors. These vapors are molybdenum pentachloride. Take a look at this ampule. It contains 100 grams of dry molybdenum pentachloride. In the solid state it is a dimer, in which two distorted octahedron share an edge, forming two chloride bridges. Take a look at the tip of this ampule. Its color stands out from that of the ampule. Why do you think this happened? Let me know in the comments. Well, let's open this ampule. Look at how quickly molybdenum pentachloride oxidizes in air. Molybdenum pentachloride is essentially black, melting at about 200 degrees Celsius to a dark liquid, but the vapor is reddish brown. You just saw the exact same vapors in the molybdenum powder reaction with chlorine. 
Molybdenum pentachloride oxidizes in air quickly, forming yellow dichlorodioxamolybdenum. In order to showcase it, I'll repeat the previous experiment, only this time I'll rotate test tube 90 degrees, so that forming dichlorodioxamolybdenum collects on its walls. It is a very captivating process. Now I'll pour molybdenum pentachloride on the table and leave it for 10 minutes. And you watch uh, what will be happening to it during that time. The forming of green coloring is contingent on the forming of molybdenum oxytetrachloride. It deliquesces into blue liquid in humid atmosphere. And it is the reason you see all these blue spots in this video. Molybdenum pentachloride reacts with water very readily, of course, to give molybdenum oxytrichloride, molybdenum oxytetrachloride, and other oxydichloride species. And apparently it also forms hydrogen chloride, that can be easily identified with a pH indicator strip. Molybdenum pentachloride is hydrolyzed with water forming molybdenum oxytrichloride. The brown watery solution is slowly getting darker in air.
In hydrochloric acid, molybdenum pentachloride dissolves with a great heat emission and the formation of a rich green color solution. This solution changes its coloring from green to reddish brown, depending on the concentration of hydrochloric acid. Take a look at these five test tubes. Number one contains concentrated hydrochloric acid. The concentration of hydrochloric acid goes down in the tubes number two, three and four. Number five contains distilled water. Now I'll be adding the same amount of molybdenum pentachloride in each of these tubes. And you watch how the coloring changes due to the differences in concentration of hydrochloric acid. Molybdenum pentachloride reacts with concentrated nitric acid, uh, forming nitrogen monoxide, uh, that can react with atmospheric oxygen and thus form nitrogen dioxide, uh, the color of which you all know very well. In this reaction, I'll show you how such a strong reducing agent as a tin to chloride reduces molybdenum pentachloride to dark red molybdenum trichloride. To wrap it up, I'll show you a hypergolic solid-solid reaction. A hypergolic reaction occurs uh, when the components spontaneously ignite as they come into contact with each other.
but who doubt what I have other anhydrous chlorides? So let me know in the comments which one uh, you'd like to see in a video the most. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you really enjoyed. See you in the next video.